Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Janus, creator of Pinot Attack Dad. Today we're going to be talking about a very affordable laptop. And I think a lot of you have been requesting something like this on the channel. Huge shout out to Sule Tech Reviews for letting me borrow this Techlast F7S. If you haven't activated your Windows 10 Pro license yet, make sure to check out VIPSCBKey.com where you can find affordable Windows 10 Pro keys. Use my code SKPV to get 80% off of your purchase. After purchasing the activation keys, you simply copy and paste it to your Windows activation panel and you're good to go. You also find keys for Steam, PSN, and Xbox, among other gaming keys on VIP-SCDKey.com. This is equipped with an Intel Celeron N3350 processor. Sadly, it's not even an Intel Core i3, and it also comes with an 8GB RAM and 128GB of eMMC memory. And we'll discuss the eMMC memory a little bit more later in the video. It also comes with a webcam. Now, TechLast didn't disclose how many megapixels the webcam is. And the display is a very glossy 14-inch IPS LCD with full HD resolution. So if you're looking for something to use for online schooling or for your day job, I've had a really terrible experience using the TechLast F7S. It's quite unresponsive when it comes to opening up programs. Even if you're just opening up a Word document, it takes a few seconds. And especially when you're browsing the internet, it takes some time to open up tabs. And even if you have the fastest internet, it's not gonna help your cost. Because if there's one thing that's pulling back the TechLast F7S from performing really well, I think it's the memory. So the 128 gigabyte eMMC memory here, I think is the culprit for the very bad experience that I've had with this when it comes to performance. I think simply installing an SSD on this will greatly improve your performance, but that will add to the cost. Even though it only costs around $270 or 13,000 pesos, this is not going to be something that I would recommend to anyone because this will definitely cost you a lot of headaches, especially if you're going to be multitasking when you're having a Zoom meeting and then you'll also do some modules. This will just add to the stress that you already have with the current situations that we're in right now. And I think you can even find better options in the second hand market, you know, something that has a 128 gigabyte SSD with an Intel iCore i3 processor, you know, even if it's a second-hand laptop, it's still going to be way better performing than the TechLast F7S with a 128GB eMMC memory. The keyboard definitely feels very cheap. I mean, it's a $270 laptop, guys. You can definitely expect cheap materials used here. And the key travel is a little bit annoying because the spaces are very far and wide. This is not gonna be the best experience when it comes to typing as well. So, you know, just add that to the list of why I don't like this laptop so far. Now, as for the display, I think the display is really decent when it comes to the color reproduction. I tried watching YouTube videos here, but it was a very laggy experience. Of course, that is not related to the display itself. But again, how will you be able to enjoy the display, even if it's really good, if your system or if your performance doesn't allow you to watch videos smoothly? So with my experience with the TechLast F7, watching videos was a very cumbersome experience. I had to wait for it to process before my videos played. And when it did play, it would pause and it would lag. Now, I didn't even bother playing games on this anymore because of the terrible performance when it comes to simple tasks. I mean, if I even tried playing Dota 2 on this, this laptop might even crash and burn. Now, one thing that I did like about this is its looks. It does look very elegant and minimalistic and it doesn't look bulky at all. Aside from its good looks, there's nothing else going on for it. But again, maybe if you upgrade the memory into an SSD, you might have a better experience. But as it is, this is not something that I'll recommend to you guys. All right, so real talk here, guys. Even though this is a very affordable laptop and as much as I want to recommend 
affordable laptops to you guys. The user experience is priceless. You can't replace user experience with very low cost. I mean, there's a certain extent where you can say that you're getting good value for the price that you paid for. But in this instance, all you're getting with the Techlast F7S is a lot of headache. And I don't really want you guys to experience regret when it comes to buying this. I mean, if I do recommend something like this and you bought it and you have a very terrible time with this, that's gonna be on me. So if you're really considering the tech last F7S with the specs that I showed you here in this video, make sure that you've already checked all your other options. You check the second hand market. I'm sure there are gonna be better options there. And you know what guys, I'm not even gonna leave a link in the description box for this item because this is not something that I'm gonna recommend to you. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and hit that bell button so you can watch more videos like this in the future. That's it for today, guys. Keep safe and have a great day.